Welcome back everybody, Mike here for Let's Turn 2, and today we're going to be going back in time a little bit and opening some cards from a couple of years where I wasn't in the hobby. So these are all going to be very new to me. Truth be told, I got out of collecting in the late 90s and didn't get back into it until 2019. So with some of these products, I didn't even know they existed. So it's going to be really fun to sort of go through these cards, see some names from the past. I would expect most of them if not all of them, are going to now be retired as we're looking at 2003 and 2004. I'm not sure the, the rookie classes from each year, but looking for some good rookies and maybe find some Hall of Famers. So on this channel, I like to do things in twos, so it might be a little confusing. I've got four packs here, but I thought, you know what, let's have a little bit of fun today, do something just a little bit more, but keeping with twos, we are doing two different years and two different products from each year, so it makes sense, right? And stick with it till the end because going to have a little bit of a bonus. So let's start with 2003. There you can see Topps Bazooka. Never even knew that this existed, so thought it looked cool. You can see the hobby logo there. Going to get eight cards and Bazooka gum in every pack, which I will not be eating so one worry always when you go back to a little bit older cards is that they don't stick together there you can see the gum actually looks pretty good but still not gonna try it Ooh, and we're gonna start with a little mini card of Brian Jordan Brian Jordan was a player who played both baseball and football back in the day very cool I actually don't remember him ever being on the Dodgers, so that might have been later in his career. Mark Burley, James Loney, Alex Rodriguez, looks like a parallel there, has a silver border, very cool. Hall of Fame caliber player, not sure if he'll ever get in, but we will see. Are there two cards stuck together, or is that just a thicker card? Alright, that's just a thicker card, so... Might have to look up that one after the video just to see what's going on with it. We've got some kind of, what is this? Are these stickers? Or it looks like something that you can tear these cards apart if you wanted to. Uh, Eric Gagne. Want to Cy Young as a reliever. Not Can't remember the year, but he would be the one that stands out amongst these four. Jamie Moyer. Pitched forever in the majors. Pitched well into his 40s. Joe Kennedy, and there's Eric Gagne again. Very cool. All right, now this pack here, we've got Fleer Platinum. Out of the four packs that I'm about to open, this one costs the most, and I'm not sure if it's just because it has the most cards or if there's better odds for a hit. Really didn't know, but let's take a look. I think this pack was $8. The others were more in that four to five range, something like that. So here we go. Ruben Sierra, Hall of Famer, Yvonne Rodriguez. Very young Johnny Damon there. Is this a rookie? It is not. I should have known that. I knew he started with the Royals, but still Johnny Damon with without the beard that he became known for with the Red Sox. Eric Milton. Another Jamie Moyer. Prentice Redman. Ben Howard. Mike Hampton. Juan Gonzalez. Not a Hall of Famer, but had a really good run there in the 90s. Hitting a lot of home runs. Derek Lee. There's a Hall of Famer. John Smoltz. Jeff Conine. Even though he's an Oriole there, he was known as Mr. Marlin, still is. Bobby Higginson. Ryan Klesko. We're getting some Hall of Famers now. Craig Biggio. Luis Castillo. Really liked this player back in the day. Was always, was always good for a lot of stolen bases every year. Good batting average. For anyone who plays fantasy baseball... He was always a, a good second baseman to have because really get a lot of help in some categories. So 
Dave Roberts. There you see, pretty cool. He's a Dodgers player here, now managing the World Series champ Dodgers. Steve Cox. There's Vladdy Sr., Hall of Famer. Javi Lopez. Ben Broussard. Mark Mulder had a very good career. Here's a Mark Grace. Always weird seeing Mark Grace in a Diamondbacks uniform. Everyone knows him most for his time with the Cubs. What is that? Unsung Series? Unsung Heroes? Unsung Heroes. Okay. Nice card. An insert of some kind. Mike Mussina. Hall of Famer. And another one of these unsung heroes. This is Jay Gibbons. Very good pack. Now let's turn to 2014. Upper Deck no longer making baseball cards. They stick to just uh, just hockey unless unless something has changed. But I believe they are now just a, a hockey only product. But let's take a look at this. Upper Deck, of course, is most famous for in baseball for having that 89, their first release, the 89 uh, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card, which is still a very desired card nowadays. And we start with another Vladdy Sr. Very cool. Again, a Hall of Famer. We got John Burkett, Chris Steins, another Luis Castillo, Shane Halter, Brian Lawrence, whatever that is, some kind of spacer or promoting something that was going on at the time. Here's a rookie, Jeremy Bonderman, Joel Pinero, and Hideki Matsui. What does this say? Chronicles? 2003 Rookie Chronicles. So this would have been, I'm assuming, a Rookie subset. All right, very cool. And now another product that I had no idea existed, Playoff Prestige. I had to look on the back just to see if this was a Topps or a Panini product. And you can see there it is, 2004 Donruss. So it would be a Panini product. And it's always cool seeing uh, Donruss where they actually were able to use the logos. Haven't been able to do that for quite a while now. Hopefully they'll be able to here sometime soon. We've got Mike Young. Some people making a case for uh, him in the Hall of Fame, but I'm not sure. I think he'll fall just short. We've got Austin Kearns. These are really nice cards. Maybe out of the, the four packs that we've opened, this, this might be my favorite design. Melvin Mora. Spacer there. Nice to see even back in the day, uh, Don Russ was putting the spacers in to sort of fake out the pack searchers. Tony Batista. And this has turned into the, the Vladdy Sr. Uh, video. What is that, the third or fourth? Did we get one out of every pack? Vladdy Sr., not going to complain. Hall of Famer, great player. All right, so that's it. 2003, 2004. Not going to lie, I may go back and get some more of these, and I think the Prestige might be my favorite out of the four. Now, I said about a bonus at the end. Truth be told, before I made this video, I had already made another video, and I was going into some 2021 uh, Major League Soccer. I was going to do my first soccer opening video for the channel, but after I was done and went back to watch the video, I noticed... There was no audio, so that's not going to work. But I don't want the cards to go to waste. I thought I would still showcase them since I don't open much soccer. Actually, I haven't opened any soccer on the channel. So I just thought we'd go through this real quick and just show you what I got. This was literally about uh, 15 minutes ago I opened these. So I was pretty upset when I found out the no audio, but let's take a look. I don't know much with MLS, so please feel free in the comments. Let me know if... Any of these cards I should be a little bit more excited about. Um, I want to learn for future videos and just to learn in general. Now, I don't know with soccer if they do rookie cards or if they 
do the you know under 22 but I did get some of these here you see Cole Bissett and Sam Vines Tanner Tessman and Ayo Ekinola not sure if I said that right if I did not I apologize correct me in the comments and then these I think were just more of your base so we'll go through them here kind of quick if you see anything again let me know a couple of team cards there this one I thought was gonna be an insert of some kind but it looks like it was just a, a part of the the base set what about this one okay so this one was an insert Carlos Vila all right so there you go that was 2021 tops major league soccer wish you could have watched the whole video but you know what you do what you can so all right thank you everyone for watching this sort of a different video for me opening up more packs than normal and throwing in another sport at the end so I thank everyone for watching. I thank everyone who has hit the subscribe and has hit likes and been commenting. It means a lot for a new channel. And I hope if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you liked this video, hit the like. And I hope to see everybody on the next one. Thanks for watching and take care.